is being blamed for ripping a section off the roof of the Pasco County Jail. Authorities say the weather that came through Land Lakes tore up the jail on Central Boulevard. It happened around 515 this morning. This is a look at what the jail looked like yesterday before the wind and rain hit it. But early this morning, a sheriff spokesman says one of the two minimum security annex buildings was completely destroyed. Just moments before it came down, all the inmates had to be evacuated into the main jail. Our Rebecca Medina has more. As the sun slowly began to rise over Pasco County, the destruction became more and more astounding in the day's light. At the Land Lakes Detention Center, there were fallen power lines, trees cracked in half, and buildings destroyed. All of this the result of a storm that rolled in just after midnight on Sunday. We evacuated about 200 inmates from the temporary structures. Pasco County Sheriff Bob White says even he couldn't believe the sight of overturned cars and trucks in the parking lot. Or the hydroponics building, where the jail grows lettuce to feed the inmates, reduced to a mangled mess of metal. I'm standing in front of what used to be the minimum security annex, which housed about 150 female inmates. This place was actually evacuated about 5 o'clock this morning, and shortly after that, it was reduced to rubble by the winds. Immediately upon evacuation, when that steel door closed, they lost power, and uh, those units were destroyed. Sergeant James Rolston helped move the inmates. He says they all waited out the storm in the dark and he can't believe how fast it all happened. The noise was, was very overwhelming. The, uh, there was dust, water everywhere. Inmates got busy cleaning up what Mother Nature left behind. While there is much to do, Sheriff White says it all could have been much worse. And we're very blessed this morning. Now, we are obviously looking at millions of dollars worth of damage out here for Pasco County. We're told it's going to take several months to repair everything that went down out here. But they tell us today that the most important thing is that no one was hurt. In Pasco County, Rebecca Medina, ABC Action News.